Hello guys, it is time for another class review video. As you can see, I did the other one before, the Blood Titan Glacial Warlord. But now we're doing Prismatic Claw Suit and Paladin. Paladin's kind of straightforward though, but Prismatic Claw Suit, some people probably don't even know. So let's just, I'm just going to show off Prismatic Claw Suit for a second, and then I'll uh, show you where to get Paladin, or how I got Paladin. Actually, no, I can't show you guys because, yeah, that place got ruined. Huh. I'm going to have to look that up. But... If you go to Battleon, and if you go to here, okay, good, still here. If you click on this, you'll be able to get Prismatic Claw Suit right then and there. All you need to do is enhance it, and that's basically it. So I'm just gonna see if there's another way of getting Paladin, because the way I got it, I got it from Artix when he was in Swordhaven. But if you complete the quest line, Swordhaven's kind of gone. Yeah, that's the old one. Okay, so. According to this, the only location that you can currently get Paladin is in Lightguard or Necropolis. According to this, because I honestly don't, because they actually did change it, so I'm kind of confused on this. Because this is actually kind of new for me. So if you go to Lightguard. And let me just turn that down. Um, and if you go to over here, here, we can also get the uh, AC version of it, which is just basically 2,000 ACs. So if you go to Paladin Shop, you can obviously get Paladin. Uh, you can get Healer. I thought this would be the old ones, but no, it wouldn't be. So, as I said, but for Paladin, you need rank five, rank five good. Obviously, I'm rank ten for that. Uh, rank ten Healer and rank ten Warrior to purchase it. So, this and this. Before it said rare, so I was kind of like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of my rare. But no, th I'm I'm safe for that. So for the sake of showing you both of these uh classes, uh, I'm gonna show you. Oh, somebody actually joined this time. I'm gonna show you. Uh, how Prismatic Claw Suit and Paladin work. Paladin's not that kind of difficult, but I can see some people getting stumped on it, like, how is this effect supposed to happen? So Prismatic Claw Suit, for all enhancements for Prismatic Claw Suit, I suggest Health Vamp, but for Paladin, I suggest All Blast, because the last scale obviously is pretty bad. So for rank for passives, this also Prismatic Claw Suit doesn't have a rank 10 passive as far as I know. Yeah, doesn't have a rank 10 passive. So for the passives, uh, okay, that, okay, so critical strike chance is increased by 5%, and your strength and intel intellect, almost said intelligence, is uh, increased by 10%. So that's pretty nice. Does a decent amount of damage, it doesn't do too bad. And the reason why I suggest having a health amp is because this class only uses only one heal. So if you use Naughty, it's a quick debuff. It's a quick and damaging attack that applies a debuff, making his attack stronger, stacking it up to four times. If Nice is then present shortly after, it is replaced by Frostburn, a damage over time effect. But if you do the opposite effect, which is Naughty first and then heal, you get Holiday Cheer, which is a heal over time, and that's why I'm trying to use it. So, a weak attack that heals the caster slightly also applies nice debuff, making the heal stronger, stacking up to four times, and if not, is present, is replaced by Holiday Cheer, a heal over time effect on the caster. Check the list is basically just a really good effect that can really help you in, in certain situations. Uh, if the target is naughty, deals heavy damage and applies lump of coal, lowering the target's haste. But if the target is nice, it applies blitzen's blitz, increasing the caster's haste, damage done while reducing damage taken. It does not consume them either. Arctic stamina, reducing your incoming damage by 30% and increases your outgoing damage for 20% for 8 seconds. That's kind of nice. So I'll be right back as soon as I got uh, Paladin equipped. So I'll be right back. Alright, so we are back. So I just changed into this outfit I'm going to use for... Uh, what is it? Paladin. So Paladin has it. Uh, sorry about that. It's, uh, has some decent skills. I, I kind of like this heal. Was kind of overpowered before. And now it's kind of weak, since there's new heals that are better than it. 
especially Dragon Shinobi, which is a full heal. So for rank 4 and rank 10 passives, I'll t tell you that a little later. For rank 4, endurance is increased by 15%, while critical chance is increased by 5%. And for rank 10 passive, uh, fully heals, heals all targets on screen, but under it it says after rank 10, uh, rank needed 10. Uh, notes. Uh, active divine recovery heal over time effect lasts for 10 seconds and provides a massive heal amount based on weapon damage also reduces damage taken by a hundred percent during the duration of the heal so basically you take no damage while being healed so that's kinda nice so the first skill which I thought was actually the skill name but it actually isn't is abolish it applies zeal which is the only way for paladin class to gain mana so you can kinda guess that's kind of bad but zeal has the warrior kind of effect where if you hit an enemy or you get tar hit like if you hit an enemy or you get hit by an enemy criticals are better obviously you gain mana healing word was obviously the best heal before 876 non crit and i think it was over a thousand crit probably i don't know heals up to two friendly targets for a moderate amount so it, it's kind of high for a heal but it's not the greatest heal as Newer classes progress. It's kind of weak. Uh, exercise. It's a religious thing. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a light-based range attack. High damage to like undead enemies. Now, it won't do much against uh, Mythal Man because he's not technically undead, but it would still do a lot of damage to uh, a lot of other enemies. Now, Blinding Light. Now, this is why All Blast comes very, very well. If you use Blinding Light and then Zeal, every time you get hit by an enemy, you gain extra life, right? But as soon as you actually get hit by multiple enemies, you're obviously going to take multiple damage. That's why All Blast comes in handy, because you take less damage. And then you can just go, oh, there you go, I just took three enemies out with one class, and it barely took any damage. So it's pretty good. So that's basically how you get Paladin and... Prismatic Claw Suit. Hopefully, you guys like the next video, which is going to be the last one I'm going to be doing today. Hopefully. And I'll be showing you how to get that and all that. So, yeah. Goodbye, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Goodbye, guys.